Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Bazaar. Last episode, we got the second gym badge, which was super easy. Explored uh, Floyd Town, which was really fun. Just talking to the NPCs in this game is amazing. They're so funny. Uh, we went back and got Rock Smash. Did a little side quest with the professor and his assistant, basically getting the professor's assistant to play the drums again. And now we're going to um, head to the Sunflower Field and go meet up the second gym leader and see what's going to happen next. Hey, oh, I'm on a bike. Hey, they have a, a bike and scooter store next door. Turn here to the left and I'll see if I can get you one. Ooh, okay, I'll be waiting for you there. Nice. Bike or a scooter, I don't mind. Even one's good. Let's go and get one, baby. Very nice of the gym leader, but hey, come on. I'll introduce you to a friend. Hey, dude, what's up? Man, Richie, what's up? What do you need? A spare part or something? We need a bike. Can you give us one? Is another one joining the group? All right, here you go. And we got a bike, baby. <laughs> It's a gift, so you can travel around at Quintellus with the wind in your face. The sensation is unbeatable. Well, see you. Man, this gym leader is really nice. It was a bite. It's probably like the best gift I've ever been given by a gym leader, but uh, I heard that aliens appear here at night. Apparently the influence of aliens affects the sun kern and therefore they have changed their evolutionary method. They now evolve with moonstones. I think I have a moonstone? I have a shiny stone. Oh man, okay, so, um... Oh, it's currently 8.15am. So I think we'll definitely come back here at night. I want to get a, uh, alien sun flora. Or sun kern, that'd be sick. Got miracle seeds, sweet. Uh, does this clown want to fight? Uh, oh, it's like a little maze. Hey, okay, Hoppet's gonna run away from you. And how do I... Ah, there you go. So out of nowhere, our hero emerges. The audience applauds. Let the battle begin. All right, let's do this. We'll fight everyone, then I'll run around just till it's nighttime. Once we finish exploring this bit, but uh, let's go to... Wait, it's a uh, whooper, right? So... I'm pretty sure you're part of ground now. But do you have water absorb? You don't. That's fine. <laughs> and Shellos. Oh, you might have water absorb though. I'm going to say I really do not like fighting water ground types, unless I have a grass type. If I have a grass type, then it's absolutely fine. But water ground is such an annoying type. Also, when's this ladybug going to evolve? I feel like, don't you get Ledian, like, around 18, 20? What else the Ledian's going to look like? Let's cut down the tree. And anything behind here? Kind of looks like nothing's here. Maybe something will spawn like a knight, like an alien. Oh, I'll be so sick, man. But who am I going to replace? I don't know. Yo, be careful. I almost ran you over, man. That's all good. I got insurance. I'll sue you, man. I'll get lots of money. Then I can buy all the bikes. This is bubble beam the arrow. Nice. No sturdy. They do level 24. Maybe evolve now. That'd be cool. And gulping. Oh, no, it was the... um. The Trubbish has got a regional form in this game, right? I think it was a gulping for a second. Need to find a Trubbish. Want to get all the regionals we can, evolve them to see what they look like. And still no Ledian. Man, when are we going to get one? Hey, oh, anything cool? Ooh, oh, no, it's a dollar. Okay. Got really excited for a second, then I just realized that that's not a fakey mum. <laughs> Alright, what well, you got for a sun? Oh, there's the sun cut! Oh, it's upside down. Okay. That's, oh, you got a leech seed. Not great for us. Oh, Giga Drain. I was going to say, like, we can probably take you out one more, but that like, Giga Drain getting that life steal is annoying. All right, let's go Golbat. Yeah, I think we'll definitely catch a Sunkern. Because even as a part of grass, put it on the team, got Miracle Seed, a bit more damage, and then we can see what the alien's going to look like when it evolves. I swear, like, maybe it was a different game I got a Moonstone, but I feel like I got a Moonstone very recently. There wasn't one in the store that sold the stones in Floyd Town, because they had fire, water, and electric. Maybe, maybe they did have Moonstone, maybe. Need to double check. Wait, how do I... Aha, yeah. It's hard to see around there a little bit. Right, uh, got Daycare. It's one of the Pokemon nursery managers. Here we take care of the trainer's Pokemon. Um... Sometimes you speak to daycare people, you get a free egg. So I'm going to just see if I get a free egg first. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Actually, you know what? I am going to give you one Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to give you... Uh, 
gonna give you the Wulu. Because I have to replace someone for um, the Sun Kern. And I think I'm gonna make it Wulu. So let's fight this last dude. Enough of this, I'll run around until it's uh, until it's night time. And then we can see if we can find anything. Oh! Is um the coffin from the gacha then a, a shiny one? Because that was green. This one's not green. Uh, I don't know what type you are. Let's try Fairy Fist. Nah, that's not very effective. So you still pop poison, maybe. Let's try Comet Punch. Never mind. It's fine, we're gonna get healed up after this anyway, so it's all good. Uh, Marcello, our matchup. And we'll go... Aqua Jet. Oh, self-destruct. Why? Why? <laughs> that's so annoying. Alright, uh, we'll just air cutter. What oh, are you gonna bite? I ain't gonna let you uh, get that off. <laughs> Easy. Okay, right, so let me go and make it nighttime. Got to run away, or run around until you know, it's currently 3 23 pm, so not too long actually. Then we'll come back at night. Okay, it's nighttime, it's currently 11 14 pm. Let's go and check this place out. Alright, nothing spawns in the overworld, but we'll go uh, check the grass now. See if we can get a cool alien. Man, I love aliens. Wait, can't go that bit. No patch of grass here. Come on. What we got? What we got? What we got? Hey, there it is. There's the sun kern. So let's go. Uh, nightshade. And then hypnosis. Wait, do I have balls? Oh, I better have balls. Oh, I do. I got plenty. Fantastic. All right. Come on. There we go. Easy peasy. Got alien sun kern, man. So we need to get a moonstone to evolve this bad boy. Right, don't know where we're gonna get a moonstone, but I'm sure we'll find one randomly somewhere. We always do in Pokemon games. So route four. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's f not fight you, but you thought I was a trainer, but it was me, an ordinary NPC. I'm just here to confuse people. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm about to say let's fight him. He's like, no, he doesn't want to fight. Okay. Uh, yo. What if I told you that in this fight there is a reference that should be totally dead by now? Okay. What's the reference? I don't know what the reference is at the moment. If anyone gets it, let me know, because, yeah. I feel like a lot of, like, memes and references and stuff, yeah, I, I don't often... Oh my god, I didn't heal up! Ah! <laughs> my bad. Yeah. I don't often get. Down with all the memes, man. If you tell me a meme about like from like 20 years ago, yeah, I, I'll know it. Anything that's current in the past five years, probably not. Maybe current 10 years. <laughs> all right, uh, let me go get healed up, and then we'll right. Let me first grab this, and then we'll go get healed up. So I'll see you guys back here in a second. Alrighty, we're back, nice and healthy. Let's continue on. Hey, yo, how's it going? So the desert that is found when crossing the cave is known by the inhabitants of the area as the Emerald Desert. Remember to bring plenty of water. Gotta stay hydrated, but status effects are my arch enemy. So I always carry one of these with me. Sweet. Thank you. Let's get healed. Yeah, baby, let's get healed. Oh. Hey, chapter three. Let's go. Go, go, Cactus Man. <laughs> okay, then. The go-go part makes me think of Inspector Gadget. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I have to cross the desert. Damn it, I'm going to uh, roast from the heat with these clothes. Oh, Voltsy, how long have you been there? I just got here. I'm just returning from my research in the area west of Quintellus. You're headed for the Emerald Desert? Did you know that? Uh, it is the most dry area of all Quintellus. It connects to three different zones. To the east is Bangle City. Oh, I can't wait to go there because we know there's going to be a big, um, club there and we know the professor and his assistants are going to be performing there. It's going to be awesome. It's a very prosperous city. A few years ago they found oil and it's become a city for business. To the north are the Casca Ruins, the largest archaeological site in the region. There's a huge temple built in honor of the pharaoh Casca there. I've been collaborating in the research. I guess I'll stop by to take a look and see how it's going. To the west is the YMCA. They've been fighting for the oil industries not to move into other areas. I believe that right now there is only one cowboy living there. It's become a ghost town. My father used to live there, but he never comes by the area anymore. Well, just like last time, if you need me to help you with anything, just let me know. Will do. Okay. 
Uh, what, are you, what are you selling? What are you buying? Don't think I need anything from you there, but don't get healed up because we're good. Yo, so be well prepared before moving on to the next route. Oh, fresh water, thank you. The fact you tell me to be well prepared makes me think I probably should just buy some potions just in case. I got repels. Let's get like one escape rope just in case as well. And I think we'll be fine. Alright, let's go. To the Emerald Desert. Uh, anything on this rock? Nope. Hey, oh, my good man, how's it going? Are you desert police? I am. Then you're under arrest. For doing some archaeological digs and not giving me the loot. Yeah, how about that? Sweet. Uh, the sun kind of needs to grow a few levels and start using it. But oh, you got a decent move set already, actually. Mega Drain, Leech Seed, Grass Whistle. Put them to sleep. We Leech Seed them. And then we just steal the HP with Mega Drain. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be great. I used a, uh, oh, what game was it again? It was recently, um, it wasn't Chaos Infocita, it was, uh, Dregs. Yeah, Pokemon Dregs. I played, um, yeah, I played Dregs and I used a Sunflora, and it was so good on the team. My, like, HP I stole was, like, Giga Drain and Leech Seed, it was, oh, it was so good. <laughs> Ooh, a Gabite. I think Gambite's cool, but unless it's got a new regional, I do not care. If you guys are playing this game as well, which I think some of you are, let me know if there's like any any awesome things I need to look out for in the future. But like, without spoiling it too much. Because, uh, yeah, I want to get some some badass regionals. Or completely new fake I don't mind. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll fight you. Gotta make sure we fight everyone. So the good thing about fighting like lots of random trainers in like um, fan games like, like this with like regionals and stuff, is sometimes you get to discover discover the uh, new stuff through the battles. And it's just like makes me it encourages me to fight more. I mean, I probably should be encouraged to fight everyone anyway. But if I'm playing like a normal fan game that's got like no fakey mod or anything like that, I'm like, okay, I'll just fight for some experience. Kind of got to do it. But if there's regionals and stuff, I'm like, oh, what if they got something new? You know, a little more incentive. It just makes it a bit more exciting. I think I should go for bubble beam. It's a lot more, doesn't it? Yeah. This lizard and bubble beam just absolutely destroy him, but we should definitely switch out here. And we'll go for a... Oh, no, wrong one. I mean, Super Sonic's still good if you hurt yourself. Oh, Leech Seed, you suck. It's like an air cutter. Go on, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Oh, dude. It's fine. One more air cutter. Nice. Oh, Ladybug's finally evolving! Oh, please look good, please look good, please look good. Come on. Hey, that actually looks badass, man. Oh, I really like that. That looks sick. Nice. Let's just make sure it's still the same type and everything. Oh, I forgot to say as well. If you watched last episode, apologies if it's a bit like, yeah, choppy at parts. I got hit with like, I uploaded it four times. Got hit with so many different like copyright claims, so I've got to be very careful with the music in this game. Because, uh, yeah. Gets copyrighted. Like, I don't mind if they want to take the money, revenue, like whatever the company does what they want to do. It's when they block the video, that's the annoying thing. That's really annoying. Uh, Bodo, we're gonna bubble beam. Nice. Sturdy, okay, okay, and bubble beam once more. Good, good. Uh, Vital Throw, should we get that? Uh, attacks, I, I don't like moves that attack last. Giga Drain, absolutely, goodbye Mega Drain. Oh, this Sun Kong gonna be good. Oh, what we got here? HP up, all right. Like, every time I find like a random item now, I'm always holding my breath because it's a Moonstone, but I went out to buy some paper and ended up here. Well, I found this line around, maybe it will work better for you. Ooh, Quick Claw, actually, yes. I'm not sure if this would work, but like, moves that attack last, like that Vital Throw, if Quick Claw activates, would Vital Throw go first? Or would it always go, I'll probably give this to you, will it always go last, regardless? Like, I, I like Quick Claw a lot, and I just, I need to know the ins and outs of it, because, yeah. It's such a cool item. But what do we got inside this house? Uh, hi. Oh my boy, you look tired. Do you want some pills? Yeah, sure. 
You'll feel much better now. <laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, I'm definitely am fully healed. What pills did she give me though? I, I'm, I'm, if it was any other game, I'd be like, okay, it is whatever. But because of this game, I just feel like something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, I need two, I need to switch. Ooh, okay, we'll go back and get some more pills. Uh, let's go, go back. Yeah, cut a nice. No, oh, don't be putting me to sleep. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Oh, not least seed as well. This Roselli is so annoying. Nice, okay, there we go. We're gonna have a grass type for us, we can maybe stay in. Uh, Blitzel, no, we switch, we switch. Uh, let's go on new Ledian. I think I'm gonna lead off Ledian after this. Nice, nice. Also, I think it's been long enough. I, I really fancy using a Rose Raid. Like, I, I used to use Rose Raid a lot, because it's just a solid Pokemon, but it's like it's been a, a while since I last used one. I think the last one I used was probably a regional one. <laughs> but to be fair, regional Rose Raids always look super good. Alright, so we've got a cave. Let's go in the cave first. Ooh, okay. Oh, we need strength. We will come back here once we get strength. Hey, yo, how's it going? Mmm, do you like my didgeridoo? I do not like the didgeridoo. <laughs> uh, Fletching Dog. Bubble Beam! You ain't gonna stand a chance. Easy. Okay, what else you got for us? Uh, Weeping Bell. Mm, I think, yeah, it kind of be better. Yeah, after this fight, I need to remember. I need to lead off with Ledian. Ledian's gonna be fun to use for a bit. Okay. This Ledian's so badass. What's the, oh, is that the flying? Yeah. Can't use it just yet. Because that would make it life a little bit easier if I went, when I went back to um, the start in town to go speak to the assistant last episode. I could have just like flown back. But man, I'm sure he ran off in this direction. There's nothing around here. It's all deserted. W what was I going to do? Uh, go to the YMCA. It's totally abandoned. There's no way he's hiding there. Uh, there is, is not enough space. I swear my life he went that way. We should go check it out. Well, first we should stay and keep an eye on the area to see if any other ACP member passes by. We'll check out the YMCA later. I don't feel like running into that crazy cowboy. I do. Right, so there, the person said it splits into three paths, didn't they? So the left is the YMCA, to the right is Bangal City, and to the north is the Casca Ruins. So we'll go this way first. Then probably go to the ruins after. Oh, it's closed. Look at the music, man. Was it like harmonica? So sick. All right. Uh, hey, oh, I'm not stealing anything. I swear. Uh, sure. I believe you. What they got? Let's do it together. Split the loot 50-50. Uh, 30 70. I won't. I won't write, write you out that way. Because you're the one who initiated it. So I think that's fair. Got five times though. Nice. And I know I'm not gonna give them five times, but let's give it a go just in case. Oh man, can you imagine? Actually, I think it's might need needed four times there. Get that critical hit on it doesn't matter at the end. Okay, it doesn't matter as long as it's abandoned, I say. Sure. Let's go with that. Right, I'm gonna go to the saloon last, so I'm pretty sure that's the place we need to probably go to. Ooh, what do we got here? Soft stand. It's fine when I loot an abandoned place. But no one, anyone else does it. <laughs> Alright, let's go check. Oh, that's locked. Uh, go check this house out then. Got a book. This is a Bible. It speaks of the love of Jess Garisto. Oh, and Jesus Christ, and a little else. Written by Felix Kane. What's this? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Uh, can we check the poster? No, we can't. Oh, did I check this house out? Well, there's nothing here. But they did say it's abandoned, so maybe no one's in the saloon. Oh, where did I end up this time? According to the coordinates, I'm not that far away. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. 
I think I managed to ditch the police for now. Find set the coordinates for Petrogas Industries. I should have no problem getting back. Although, wearing that thing makes me sick to my stomach. Uh, hey, oh. Ah! <laughs> already found me! Wait, you don't look like the police. You never saw me, okay? Uh, sure. Ooh, better get, get it right this time. And they're gone. So what's on the table? Oh. I thought I smelled trouble. Uh, by the beard of my Aunt Donna. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, hi. My name is Andy. I'm the best and only cowboy in the YMCA. The Young Man Cowboy Association. I've been defending these lands for a long time. I will not let any oil tanker sully my home. For this reason, this area has restricted access. I can't let just anyone roam these lands at will. A cowboy's duty is to defend what is his. Uh, okay. That look. I see defiance in your eyes. Aren't you gonna leave? Don't look for trouble. The only good reason to ride a bull is to meet a nurse. Alright, so a duel is what you're looking for. In honor of the YMCA, I, Andy, will defend its name for, from the terrible clutches of an 18 year old's own death wish. Onward, Buckshot! Ooh. The music's starting to sound really awesome, but I'm very worried it's gonna. Oh, look at the Scraggy! It looks so sick! Oh, that's so cool! Um. Yeah, as I say, if there's no, no audio, then obviously copyright, but we'll see. Oh, revenge. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. That guitar sounds so cool. Is that a. Uh... It's Eye of the Tiger. Oh, this is totally gonna get uh, copyrighted. If it doesn't, then it's really cool. I mean, maybe it's like a, like a cover, so it might not get copyrighted, but. This is so sick. Uh, okay, there's like nothing. Nothing's a little scary. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fleet siege up. Oh, bite. That's absolutely fine. That's what we want to see, honestly. There we grass. We'll see. <laughs> this game, the soundtrack's so good. It's such a, it's such a dumb game, but I love it. It's so- it's like done really well, man. <laughs> Stop potion up, man. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. Alright, one more leech seed- or not leech seed yet. There we go. I think you still have one more Pokemon though, right? Uh, Shockwave. Let's get rid of Glare. And... I don't know what Perdagon is, but... Oh, it's your nickname for Tauros, okay. Let's Leech Seed ya. Or not. Right, uh... Gold Bear. Let's go Supersonic. If you can hurt yourself like once or twice, that'd be great. Or not. Hurt yourself once. Oh, please, just once. I feel like I can take... One attack? It's fine, it's fine. No awkward yet. We'll go Ledian. <laughs> oh, we know one HP! Go on, go on. Let's go, Ledian! Nice! Oh, that was so close. Getting a little bit nervous, and that Taurus was destroying me. Ouch, you hit harder than my mother. You've uh, shown more strength than a YMCA member. My cowboy honor accepts defeat. My faithful box shot feels admiration for you. Okay, this time I'll let you go. A true cowboy must always listen to his faithful steed. Uh, sorry, steed. Uh, remember, maybe the gallop turned into a trot. Never let go of the re rain. See ya, cowboy. Okay then. And got the ACP key. Right. Well, that was uh, fun. Fence is closed. I can't go that way. So I guess we just go back? Yeah, they're gone. Can we go to the ruins? Oh. But sometimes when I find something in the uh, dig that looks valuable, I keep it in my pocket. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, dude. I feel like I would definitely do something like that. Got an Everstone. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Not going to use it, but appreciate free stuff. Uh, hi. 
The Condor Expeditions, this temple was sculpted exclusively for the tomb of Emperor Koska. Is there something I can get healed up though from here? If we're able to revive the ancient pharaoh Koska, what do you think they would say about us? Uh, we're dressed funny, we talk funny, I would assume. But uh, it seems like the Koskians used very advanced technology. We still don't know how all this technology has remained hidden. Although if they've got advanced technology then maybe... Oh, you know, we can pull them. Well, the preparations are ready. Everything is ready to be sent to the Queen City Museum. Hey, what are you, e what are you doing eavesdropping? Anyway, you're a visitor, aren't you? I'm Roxanne, and I'm in charge of this site. Now leave me, I have a lot of work to do. Okay, nothing in the bin. Right, uh, hi. So they say that the Emperor Koska was huge. I haven't been allowed to see his tomb. They say that he reached two meters high. Pretty tall. Uh, anything in here? We've got full heal. I think I might run back to the old lady just to get some more pills and, <laughs> and heal up. Uh, unless this person wants to heal me up. Pistons are ready, gears ready. I think I can start the excavation in the area. Oh, I'm preparing the excavation system. Wanna try? Sure. Alright, let's get started. Oh, I'm gonna need the keyboard, aren't I? Right, press shift to switch tools. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was something else. Uh, shift. Nice. And anything up here? Right, let me switch. That and I think it's pretty best. Do one little hammer, maybe another one. Right. Oh, it's gonna be close. I don't think it's the third one. Oh, there's no way I get this. There's no way. Oh, it was like one off. We got a smooth rock and we got a splash plate. I suppose I can just keep doing that over and over. Uh, hi. Sorry you're not allowed to enter the Casca ruins. Oh man, that sucks. Well anyway, I think it's probably a great place to end this pod off. Next episode, we'll make our way down to uh, Bangle City and go check that place out because that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.